Yes, I used to have the same AutoCAD wipeout problems, but this command have fixed them all. Hey, this is the Lazy Architecto here like every Tuesday and today I'm gonna show you how to fix your AutoCAD wipeout problems with wipeout to back command. So what is wipeout to back command? Well, this is a custom AutoCAD tool that I created to solve many of your problems regarding wipeouts in AutoCAD. This issue is actually a glitch that is affecting so many people as you, which is the wipeouts showing in front of your blocks. So let's jump straight to the command. To create this command, we are going to use a AutoLisp program. Don't worry, I'll make this tutorial as simple as possible, considering that you never used AutoCAD before. So to start, let's type Lisp. This will open the Visual Lisp editor in AutoCAD. Next, click File, Open File, because you are going to use a template that we previously created on the last video, because you never should start from scratch. So let's open your template, I'll leave the link down on video description. As you can see, this is a simple Lisp template that I like to use whenever I create an Auto Lisp program. So this is very straightforward, like I mentioned before, so you don't really need to know Lisp to create this AutoCAD command. So here you will type basically a description for your new wipeout to back command. Then in this part you will put the shortcut key for your new command. In this case I'll type WB for wipeout to back. Next let's type here some instructions for the user, which is you of course. So, something simple, select block to fix wipeout problem. I'll copy this and simply paste it over here. In the next line, we have to add our macro or command. So here, we're simply gonna use some basic AutoCAD commands. The first that we are going to use is the ref edit command. So this is a regular AutoCAD command. If you go here on model space, you can type in ref edit and press enter. As you can see, it will ask you to select an object. If you select it, you have the following prompt. So we will need to press OK. So O for OK and then A for all. One more thing would be Y for yes. As you can see, we are inside this block already. So the same idea, we're gonna use it here to create the AutoList program. So we already typed ref edit, then we're gonna use pause to select our AutoCAD block, then O for OK. Next, you will type A for all and finally Y for yes. It's the same idea of using an AutoCAD command. Next, we're going to use a AutoCAD Lisp expression. This is the SS get. So basically, to explain this really quick, remember we are inside a block right now because 
we previously used the ref edit command which will place you inside a block so now we're using this lisp expression that is going to select and we're filtering this selection using the wipeout so we're going to select all of the wipeouts inside this specific block that we previously select so next we are going to use one more AutoCAD command which is AutoCAD draw order command so let's select this part and type draw order because we want to send our selected wipeouts to the back so if we go to model space and you try draw order and press enter we will have the following select object here if we use P for previous you'll select your previous object so that is what we're going to do here so follow me and type P to select the previous object which is the wipeouts let's use two quotation marks that represents an enter on your keyboard which we will need to accept the previous selection finally use B to specify that you want to send these selected wipeouts to the back next we're gonna use another command so I'm gonna copy this command template over here and the last command that we are going to need in order to create our wipeout to back command is gonna be the ref close command so type in ref close and the prompts for this command are s which means save and two quotation marks to press enter on your keyboard to accept this save so let's load these to AutoCAD clicking this icon and finally this other icon so now we just load your program to this specific AutoCAD drawing so you can test it so type W V and press enter as you can see it is now telling you to select a block to fix wipeout if you select awesome your wipeout was sent to the back automatically for that specific block now remember I made this lisp as simple as possible so you can follow along but what happened if let's say for instance we use the wipeout to back command and in this case we cancel this command because we didn't want to use it you can see an error definition message here on the command line also what happened if you select a line instead of a block with your wipeout to back command as you can see you have another error here on the command line that says reference not found because like I said this is this command works with blocks and not with lines so all of these little details we can fine tune it and fix in our our list program using some other Lisp expressions however this command is ready if you want to use it like this it works you saw it 
but definitely I'll clean this file up and put it down on video description for you to download the end product. So the last step to finalize this is to click file and click save as. Because remember, you started with your template and you don't want to modify this Lisp template. So choose a name for your tool and here what I would like to do is be very specific and descriptive so I'll type wipeout to back because that's the name of our command and then I'll put wv so I know that that is the shortcut key to use this this program so once you saved your program you can close it and now to use this tool or command in any drawing what you have to do is type the command upload and press enter here find your list program and click load but that's not all click and drag it to this startup suite and then close now you have your command available to use it in all of your drawings awesome so this is how you fix your AutoCAD wipeout problems showing in front of your blocks remember one to start with your Lisp template so you don't start from scratch two always save as your Lisp template so you don't modify or overwrite your Lisp. 3. Upload your new Lisp program to be able to use it in all of your drawings. 4. I have created more AutoCAD commands and they are in this video series.